Okay, here we are back. We are now in the second pact phase for turn one. The NATO forces who were not in zones of control, enemy zones of control, have had an opportunity to move. So we've moved some forces up into reinforcing positions. We've let little units that had uh, not moved for the turn recover a disruption uh, here and here. And we have basically tried to bolster the poor old uh, Brits here with uh, a division. Uh, and I don't think that's going to break stacking limits because it's only going to be six, eight. Probably should check that real quick. Excuse me. I've got all sorts of sinus business going on this morning. Or this afternoon or whatever time it is. Where is the stacking limits? Oh, golly gosh. Something about being combined with others. Yeah, that's what it is. It's uh, subtract three from the stacking limit. So that's not going to be an eligible move. So I would need to maybe pop this guy here. Or move one of these divisions in because it's a, it's a, a stacking limit of seven when you have multiple armies of different uh, nationalities for NATO and different armies. Uh, if I had the second guard and the uh, 20th guard in a stack, then that would reduce the limit to seven as well for stacking. Okay, so that's the reserve phase. We've moved all our guys. We didn't conduct any air uh, operations and we're certainly not conducting any attacks this turn. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. So now we'll, we'll roll over to the second uh, NATO uh, Soviet phase, and we'll see if they can uh, maybe capture Kiel. Uh, uh, we've got uh, Hamburg here isolated, or, and that's not going to be pretty. Well, it's not isolated in, in game terms, but it's isolated physically uh, because the, we have a lot of supply out. Uh, anyway, so we'll see what happens.